Hey guys, Colorado Camper Man Brian here. So I am just camping out at the Copper Mountain parking lot. I spent the night here last night. There's a look outside the window. It's starting to snow really good. But anyhow, I want to do a quick video on my heater. And I wanted to do this video because when I first purchased this truck camper, I was concerned that my heater was gonna kill my battery overnight and I didn't really find any information that said how much energy the battery is going to take so this might be helpful if you have a heater set up like i do so i have this uh, little suburban heater i don't know for sure what the btus are off the top of my head i'll put it in the video here but anyways obviously this runs off the propane but then there's also a fan inside here and i have a little thermostat so right now my heater is off but basically you set the thermostat for you know, your temperature up top, and then it will kick on or off based on what the temperature is inside the truck camper. So what I wanted to do was show you guys uh, what my voltage is after a night of use. And then I also wanted to show you guys how much the voltage drops when I kick the heater on. All right, so I'm just gonna check the voltage off this little uh, plug right here. This is actually for a portable solar panel that I have. And one disclaimer here, I did not check the voltage of the battery last night when it was fully charged, but uh, I've seen this when it's fully charged at about 13.2 volts. So right now we're at 12.39 volts. So the heater ran last night for, uh, well it's been running for about nine and a half hours off the battery. And keep in mind I also did have my lights on and I did have my stereo on for a little bit. So it went from about 13.2 volts to 12.39 after one night. One thing I do want to point out before we uh, kick the heater on, so right now, based on this uh, monitor, it says my battery is two-thirds. So apparently 12.38 volts is two-thirds. If I were to keep this system, what I would do is actually put a little voltmeter in here and take this apart and then move the wires from this little button over to a voltmeter, which I might eventually do. But if I get a solar panel in here, that little system monitor is going to be a little irrelevant. Well, let's go ahead and get the voltage meter hooked back up and we'll turn this furnace on. We got uh, the batteries hooked up. We're at 12.4 volts. Let's kick the furnace on and see where it is. So it's uh, just kind of doing a steady drop. So the heater has been going on now for about five minutes and the voltage has been holding pretty steady at 12.22 volts. It really hasn't fluctuated at all. And again, we started at 12.38 volts. So it hasn't dropped as much as I had originally thought that it was going to. I was assuming it was going to, based on the current rate it was dropping when I first started it, I thought it was just going to continue to drop. But it's just been holding here at 12.22 for quite a while. All right, so the fan just kicked off on the heater. You can see the voltage is already kind of starting to climb up. So the lowest that it got was 12.21 volts. And the heater ran for about 10 minutes. And as you can see, as it turns off, the voltage is just climbing. So that pretty much wraps things up here for the video. I'll put in the description all my information about what kind of heater I have so you guys know. Again, hopefully this helps uh, if you guys yourself have a heater like I do. Um, so just kind of a recap. So we started out last night with the battery at between 13.1 volts and 13.2 volts after running the heater and then having the lights on last night and the radio for a little bit, it dropped down to 12.38. And then while we had the heater on just now, it went down to 12.22 volts and it's uh, pretty crazy. It's already jumped right back up to 12.37 volts. So it appears that I probably could go another night or two, but as I had mentioned earlier, uh, you definitely don't want to run your battery below 11 volts because you, risk damaging your battery permanently when you do that. 
So, so hopefully this video helps you guys out. If you do have any comments or questions about anything or, uh, you know, want to throw in some information about your experience, that'd be great. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.